Politics is one of the most serious aspects when running a nation. I mean, sometimes it doesn't appear like that. About democracy. Uh, and, in rec and in recognition to... Without going into too much detail, it's what makes the country function. But one member of government has a slightly different job. Meet Larry, chief mouser to the cabinet office. He was adopted by Downing Street in 2011 from Battersea Dogs and Cats Home, allegedly intended as a pet for both Downing Street and the Cameron family. Downing Street and its surrounding buildings are notorious for problems with rodents across history. This is why, for nearly 100 years, Downing Street has almost always had a feline friend whose intended purpose is to hunt and catch rats and mice in number 10. But Larry actually comes 12th in a long line of chief mousers who've served in Downing Street since the 1920s. First there was Rufus, then Peter, Munich, Nelson, Peter, Peter 2, Peter 3, Peter with an A, Wilberforce, Humphrey, Sybil, Larry and Freya, who held the position alongside Larry for two years. That's quite a few cats, but there's actually quite a rich history of both media admiration and villainization of the chief mouses over the years. For example, Humphrey, who served under Thatcher, Major and Blair from 1989 to 1997, was shrouded with press controversy. There were rumours he'd murdered four baby robins, savaged a duck in St James Park, and had a fierce rivalry with Sherry Blair. These, combined with kidney problems, led to his premature retirement to the country. However, Larry has also been subject to controversy. This includes him being banned from the Prime Minister's quarters under David Cameron for ruining his fresh suits with fur, and he was noted by the media for his habit of spending more time sleeping than catching, earning him the press nickname Lazy Larry. In 2013, tensions were even reported to be growing between Larry and the Cameron family but the PM put this to bed by photo evidence in the Commons. And he'll appreciate this because El Gato, his cat, is particularly famous. And the rumour that somehow I don't love Larry, I do. And I have <laughs> photographic evidence to prove it. But overall, the cheese mouse has been beloved by the people. It's, it's quite entertaining. I mean, he's appeared on Google Street View. He's even met Barack Obama. After Cameron was set to leave Downing Street in 2016, it was revealed that Larry was, in fact, a civil servant, and therefore Cameron could not be taking Larry with him. And he remained under Theresa May, and still remains under Boris Johnson, for now. Many people weren't actually aware of the Downing Street cats until they heard about Larry and Palmerston, chief mouser to the Foreign and Commonwealth Office, getting into a brawl on the street. But overall, controversy aside, Larry is a very important feline who serves a very important job, all while being the UK's most adorable, technically, a member of government. Maybe. Probably not. Technically a civil servant. Now, overall, this video is just a bit of fun. It's funny to know there's a cat with an official title, portrait, adorable bow tie, and a Twitter account which has a follow account that's over 790 times that of my subscribers on YouTube. Yeah.